Hey y'all, Nick Pomeroy here with PR Equipment in Currens, Texas. We also have a store in Canton, Texas. Hey, a couple things I wanted to talk about today is, is the TERP program. So there's kind of a lot of confusion, a lot of, a lot of people that don't know about the TERP program. But more or less in a nutshell, what the TERP program is, state-sponsored program, it's paid for by a little diesel emissions tax that you pay on diesel engines, go buy a new diesel pickup, you're gonna pay a little bit of that. But the program is, is basically designed to try to get rid of, or try to get off the, off the farm or off the, there's actually lots and lots and lots of TERP programs, grant programs, but they, more or less they wanna replace the older diesel engines that, were, that produce, pollute a lot more with new diesel engines, right? So they more or less they want to get rid of the old pro, old old equipment uh, and replace it with newer equipment that has that's cleaner, burning a little bit better for the environment. And so the way the program works is basically you can apply to get a grant through the government. And there's certain there's lots and lots of things about this. I'm not going to try to touch on all those here. Now there is below. I'm going to throw in a link down here in the comment section, just talking about. Um, you know, you can go to the state website and you can see, you know, you can kind of explore around for yourself. But I want to kind of hit just a few bullet points. And also, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'd be glad to maybe answer those to the best of our ability in some upcoming videos. But I'm always going to refer back to the state website. Um, but more or less, uh, for different horsepower sizes and different ages of tractors, there's different grants available. For instance, if you had the, you know, maybe, uh, and it also, I should preface this by saying it only applies in certain counties of Texas. I will say that they're always adding more and more counties, and so that's, it's, it's ever growing. And they're also, the, the grant program is only open for a short amount of time every so often. If I'm not mistaken, it's based on when they get funding. Um, but regardless, it could be a year, it could be, you know, who knows? Uh, there was a grant program that was open last fall. They reopened again in the spring. I think typically, though, it's not quite that much close of frequency. But the, to, a year, about a year ago, they, uh, they allowed in Nevada County, and there's Henderson County. There's a few other counties that have been allowed in the program, but not every program is allowed into this program. So uh, we want to make sure we review the county map to understand if your county's in it. But also, if, if your county's not in it, don't, don't necessarily think that, your county will never be in it because there's a chance it will be. However, the TERP program uh, can give you a pretty, pretty good grant to help you buy a newer tractor where maybe you couldn't otherwise afford it. Uh, this grant program is to help you maybe get out of that older tractor that's, that's more polluting into something that's a little bit cleaner, burning a little newer tractor. It's a good program. Um, we've got quite a bit of experience with the program. Uh, I've got a couple sales guys that are well, well versed in it. Uh, we've done quite a few of these. So if you have questions, like I say, throw them down below. We'd be glad to answer your questions. But just know a few things. One, the, the grant writing, the grant process, or uh, the grant period is not, not open all the time. So we want to make sure that we wait for that. Um, it, it is also something that is kind of a timeline thing. It's first come, first serve. So when they open it, you want to be first in line. And then finally, when, uh, when you do, like say, in, in certain counties, uh, certain sizes of equipment and things like that are all going to kind of kind of affect like say what that grant looks like. But we want to help you with that if we can. If you got questions, we'd like to answer those for you. We can talk about how the specifics of how things work and kind of the mechanics of the program. We're obviously not the foremost resource. We once again, we'll refer back to the link to the, the state uh, website. Just like say, that's really the, the be all end all as far as how that goes. And they're constantly making changes to this program. However, I want you to know that it is out there and it is available. And if you all have questions, you can reach out to us. Um, like I say, leave us, a, leave us a question if you have something in the comments. Maybe we'll try to make a video and, and kind of go over that or we'll respond that back to you personally. So I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment. Y'all, if you need a new tractor, Massey Ferguson, Yam, or whatever you need, hay equipment, we're here to serve you. We're very good at taking care of folks after the sales. We're constantly, constantly, you know, working to improve and just get, just be able to best dealer in this area to, to serve y'all's needs. And so, so reach out to us. Uh, you can t call or text us at 903-270-0877. You can like us or, or on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. There's lots of ways to get in contact with us. We'd be glad to get in touch with you. Thanks.